Yo, what's up, chocolate and vanilla faces? It's been a while, and uh, this is five things I hate, but with a little bit of a twist. These are five phrases that I think are complete fucking bullshit. Let's get them done. So all these phrases that, that I'm going to be coming up with are kind of... You hear them all the time. And they, they make no sense at all. Um, both literally and figuratively, they make no sense. Um, so we'll just tackle the first one. Uh, this one is, I have to go out there and give 110%. Or somebody tells you to go out and give 110%. Or 120% or whatever. Um, this phrase is complete bullshit because... Um, a person, the person, a person's physical ability is only measured from zero to a hundred. When you go past a hundred, being a human, that actually takes your uh, physical ability to where that is your one hundred percent. When you go past a hundred, when most of the times when you go past a hundred percent, is usually in statistics or some type of uh, stock or something like that. Something where um, something is, is a lot more than what it was based on. That's uh, fractions and, or sorry, uh, percentages in statistics or stocks is the only way you can get over 100%. But a person's physical ability is only measured from 0 to 100. So when somebody tells you to go out and give 110%, can't because you can only give 100% so the first phrase that I think is complete bullshit or what the five things I hate would be number five would be go out and give 110 with the list for some reason I can't fucking talk today um, it has to go about the five things I hate about breakups that whole it's not you it's me that can apply to pretty much anything. Like if you um, if you lose your job, it's just like, well, it's not you, it's us. You know, we have to let you go. The same with relationships. It's just like, well, it's not really working out for us. It, it, it's it's not you. It's not you at all. It's it's me. It's like, well, if you have to let someone go, there's there's no way around it. You know, you can't. There's you, in in a business sense, if you can't put them in another uh, place, you got to get rid of them. You got to shed the fat, pretty much. Um, in a relationship, it's the same way. If you can't find a, um, the right person that you're gonna be with, you don't need them. Chuck them like a piece of fucking corn. Um, but I like the phrase, but it saying it it it, it kind of is like mm, I don't know, man. Every time you hear it, it's like, well, if it's not really you, then it's me. You know, it, it makes a person think about, you know, an, an introspection of who they really are. It's just like, why is it, why is it not me? You know, just some stupid shit. Um, but yeah, number four would be, it's not you, it's me. Number three, um, as a kid, you all hear this phrase um, because... Parents don't like to hit their kids. Uh, if they do like to hit their kids, then they need to go seek help. And they need to get their kids taken away. But, number three would have to be, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Okay? The reason I hate this phrase and I think it's complete bullshit is because when a kid is younger, their, their brain is developing you know, at a rapid rate. If they see someone that they love, trying to hurt them or putting them in a situation to where they feel uncomfortable then don't you think it will hurt that kid even more than it will you same if you're you know uh, paddling them or you know smack them on, smacking them across the head or something like that it's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you it's like no technically you're not the one with the stinging red ass or the, the, the bruise on your face you know Yes, it's a psychological hurt, but your kid's going to get over it. 
Hopefully. If they don't... Um, but in a psychological sense, yes, it does hurt you. But if it hurts you that much, why do it? Yeah, you know, I, I see kids need to be punished, but there are ways to punish kids without physical violence. Um, you know, just start taking away all their shit until they have nothing left. Um, let them know that you are the, the dominant ruler of the fucking house. That's what I do with my kids. Granted, I I hit them every once in a while when I'm feeling, you know, uh, I'm bored. Uh, you know, I like to smack them around, you know. It's fun sometimes, you know. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta show your dominance, pretty much. You know, your son grows up and thinks he can walk all over you, then he's gonna do that for the rest of his life. But, there's ways to do that without physical violence. There's a more controlled, domestic way to do that, besides physical violence. So, number three would have to be, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. This next one is going to be stretching it a little bit, but I, I really do hate this phrase, and well, this saying. I hate this saying a lot because it's physically impossible to do this, or to actually mean this. I know what you mean, but don't say it the way you do. Um, it, it's, I mean, I'm just going to throw a phrase out and then you can put with it what you want. Just like you have your dad's eyes or you have your mom's breast or your dad's shriveled up nut sack or something, you know, weird like that. You have the same patch of hair on your back that your, your dad does. <laughs> um, it, it, I, I like it because I know what it means. It's just like, you know, your eyes, you know, look the same as your father's. Or, you know, your your breasts uh, are lopsided like your mom's. Um, kind of weird that you know that, but, you know, I'm not here to judge you. But, uh, that's that's nor here nor there, you know. This is, this is a judge-free zone. This is like Planet Fitness, but without the fucking gay. Um... So, going on with that, because it's physically impossible to have your dad's eyes, or uh, your your dad's uh, testicles, or uh, the same, like, uh, birthmarks. Birthmarks are the only way that it could be um, kind of like you have your dad's this. Just like, sometimes, like my wife and her father have the same birthmark, the same place. Just like... Okay, that makes sense. You have the same birthmark as your father. Okay, that makes sense. But once you start to say, um, your lips, you have you have you you have your mom's lips, or you have your dad's ears, or something like that. It's just like no, I don't have my dad's ears. My ears look like my dad's, but it's not the same. So, just like I have my dad's uh, personality. So, it's there, dude. Whatever. So, and number two would have to be, you have your dad's eyes. Now, this, uh, this thing is basically what this list is, is built around. Um, because my wife came home last night, and she was talking about how this guy at work said something before he actually said something. And this is how this list all got started because I started thinking about sayings that people say that are, you know, complete bullshit. So, here's number one. Don't take this the wrong way. Just like, well, uh, automatically, there's going to be a light go off in my head. It's just like, hey, what's the wrong way to take this? Before they even say it, it's just like, why would he say, don't take this the wrong way? Should I take it the wrong way anyway? Should I be offended? Which you probably will be offended. In my wife's case, um, the guy asked, it's just like, don't take this the wrong way, but are you pregnant? Uh, rule number two. If you don't know a woman's pregnant, don't fucking ask. You know, if someone wants to tell you that they're pregnant, they will tell you. 
never ask. Never. Unless you feel like being a dickhead for a day. So, um, so that's my list. Uh, number one is don't take this the wrong way. Because obviously, in their eyes, you will. So, this is my list. Five phrases that I think are complete bullshit. If I miss any that you hear all the time, post it in the comment section below. And uh, I'm still waiting on someone to at least give something for me to tell you that I hate about something. So, if you have something that you want me to tell five things I hate about, put it in the fucking comment section. Or send me a fucking email or something. Um, so, there you go. Five phrases that I think are complete bullshit. Bye. <laughs>